Hello everyone, as a graduated BI engineer, my friend and I discussed making a series of videos explaining how to implement BI solutions using various tools and explaining the pros and cons of each one. The goal of these videos is to build our portfolio while also assisting students with their master's project. Overall, we use the same data source, mostly, and apply the BI process using the following tools SSIS, Talon, NIM, Airflow, SSIS, Pickhouse, and Kaiden. Every tool has its own workflow environment and configuration. We will look at the benefits and drawbacks as well as the modern approach to implement data warehouse solutions. The BI process is split into three steps the staging area. The necessity for staging area here is to produce a copy for specific tables and columns of the data source after creating the metrics and KPI needed to develop the decision system. The rationale for this is that in order to maintain data integrity, cleaning and altering the data should never be done in a data source. The staging area is merely a temporary database that aids in processing of data prior to loading the data warehouse. The data warehouse. During this phase, we will create dimensions and pack tables and load them into database. Because the majority of the work is done in the staging area, we will only do a little bit of work transforming and calculating metrics in this step. The semantic layer. The data warehouse is a centralized storage that can be accessed by anybody. Thus, we need to construct semantic layer that makes the data in a user-friendly format to make it easy for decision makers or other departments of the company to do analysis. Rollup and Molab are the two alternate approaches for creating semantic layer. In our instance, we will employ the Molab system using tabular cubes. In this year, we are going to use this kind of schema that contains two fact tables and four dimensions. The first fact, the first fact table contains the revenue and the second contains the numbers of orders, numbers of non-deliver orders and number of total orders. And for the dimension, we have uh, four dimensions. We have the dimension time, uh, the employee dimension, customer dimension, and finally the product dimension. So we are going to see how we're going to use this schema in different ETL. So thank you for watching.